Hello po sa mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas. In a few hours from now, ay iiwanan na po natin yung 2020, which is a very challenging for all of us. Marami ang excited na salubungin yung 2021, full of hopes, full of uh, prayers, na sana next year will be a year of recovery, a year ng pagbangon natin sa pagkakadapa natin sa 2020. Pero alam niyo po ba, despite all the challenge that we have encountered this year for 2020, marami pong iniwang lesson and blessing na masasabi ang 2020 sa buhay nating lahat. I think the best part is Filipinos have shown resilience and adaptability in the face of this pandemic. And I would like to focus more on the blessings because despite the challenging times, we still manage and we found things to be hopeful about. 2020 is a realization that the world can change or it can stop in a snap. In the beginning of 2020, we have plans that after our contract, we will spend our vacation, a Christmas vacation in the Philippines. We were planning to invest in a small business, but it was all gone in just one snap. And katulad namin, some of you might have planned to travel, to take a vacation, to study, to build their house, buy a new car. But in just one click, parang isang ganun lang, it was taken away. Ganun di ba yung feeling? We are forced to pause for a while to realize that everything can be taken away. Everything can be dismantled. Our comfort, our safety... And the worst, our lives. But I think the blessing here, guys, is that yung pagtigil ng mundo, sandaling pagtigil ng mundo, it gives us a chance to reset our lives, to rethink our priorities, to be wiser, and to make smarter decisions. Actually, it was an eye-opener. Deciding what matters most in your life that you cannot turn back the time and make changes, but rather move forward and learn from your past. Crisis has also taught us to live simply, to find joy in the simplest things, in the smallest things. We learned that we can survive just by our basic needs. We don't need material material things in order to be happy. Kahit wala yung mga material na bagay na yon, basta safe tayo, masaya na po tayo, di ba? Twenty twenty also made me realize that health is wealth, that life is short, and that you have to spend it with the people you love. And then I realize also that we haven't fully live our lives before we used to complain about long hours at work we complain about our co-workers we complain about our relationships and we stress about about everything even the smallest things and that we have forgotten how beautiful it is to live and um without the stress without all these negativities but now we learn to conquer our fears and look at the bright side of things. We learn to re to reconnect with the people we love and even the nature. Before, I used to take for granted yung mga beautiful places na napupuntahan namin because I was busy uh, with internet or mag shopping. But now, I promise myself, sabi ko, given the chance na I would be able to go back to work and go to beautiful places again, I promise that I will try to enjoy every beautiful destination and just to see and feel the beauty of every God's wonders. It also amazes me because despite the fact that having less this pandemic, I learned how to share and gift whatever we can to other people. We become more compassionate knowing na napaka-swerte namin ng family na kung tutuusin, napakaliit nung problems ko namin compared sa ibang tao. 
Parang our compassion teaches us to be grateful. Most people lost their jobs. We also lost our jobs. I was supposed to join last March, but the company temporarily closed its operations. So, hindi ako natuloy sumampa. And also, my partner was repatriated uh, last April. We thought it was a temporary thing. One month, so naging two months, and then it becomes three. And then, we started to worry na on how are we gonna survive or how are we going to provide for the needs of our family. Sabi namin, we can survive until November. Pero alam mo super tight ka na and then super stressful na yung pag-iisip mo on where to find extra income. So, we tried our best to to find other means. So, we, we hustle. But, ayan na yung bills are piling up, expenses are coming, and yet it's amazing how God works in His mysterious ways that all of a sudden, when we have almost exhausted all our means, all our efforts, when we finally reach the bottom, there is an unexpected blessings na dumadating. Yung tipong biglang-bigla, parang there's an opportunity that will knock on your door na hindi mo inaasahan. We are truly grateful. Yung masasabi mo na, Lord, alam ko ikaw yan. Wala nang iba. Nandiyan ka lang. Salamat kasi hindi mo kami pinabayaan. Everything that we thought at first that could defeat us, actually it didn't break us. We fought hard. We managed to pick up the pieces. Parang we turned our losses to lessons and we managed to fight back. Our fears, our losses, we took it as an opportunity to grow, to learn, and reset our priorities. I think lahat po makaka-relate sa atin that this pandemic, lahat po tayo tinuruang maging madiskarte ngayong taon na ito. We turned our fears into prayers and I believe that that divine connection, it helped us survive. Our faith makes us stronger. I read this somewhere. Sabi nga, when the world suddenly becomes a place with uncertainty, you realize that the only one thing in life that is absolutely certain is our family. We realize natin that our family is our comfort zone. Sila yung ating safe haven na to feel the love, to feel the connection with them. We feel secure already. Nawawala yung mga takot natin sa puso natin. To hold our loved ones closer whenever there's a chance. To remember that every, I mean, every moment with the people we love is precious and a reason to celebrate. The pandemic gifted us time to realize the importance of family and being together. So, gaano man po kahirap ang taon na ito, yung mga challenges na binigay ng 2020 sa buhay natin, I still believe na yung mga lessons na nakuha natin for this year na naging effect po ng pandemic are all considered blessings. I know that some of you will agree or disagree with what I've said, but I hope that with the many adversities and challenges that we have faced this year, I hope that we learn na how to cheer, how to support, and become at peace with one another. So, I will end this vlog wishing you all a happy new year and I hope that we become a better and stronger version of ourselves this 2021. Happy new year!